In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the background from a picture inside of Photopea. One of the problems with free or online background removers is that you don't have much control over what you can remove. So in this video, I've picked a really hard image here. We've got grass, we have hair, we have different colors. How do we remove just the grass? So here I've got my image inside of Photopea. I can move it around. So I'm just going to make sure it's centered. And now I'm going to go up to Select. And then I'm going to use this option here called Magic Cut. Okay, and it gets us to this freaky little page here that's got red on the borders and green in the middle. And over on the right-hand side, you'll see sort of a weird decapitation going on here. So what's happening? Okay, there's three colors here at the top. Green means keep it. Red means lose it. And gray is an eraser tool. So what I'm going to do first is click the eraser tool, and I'm going to go up here to this lady's chest, and I'm going to remove the red that's sitting right here. Now watch over on the right-hand side. The system now recognizes, oh, the human wants me to keep that skin. Same thing over here. On the left side, I'm going to now remove the red on the arm and the red on the blouse. Now, it may render the blouse over on the right, but in this case, it hasn't. So what I'm going to do now is give it some green. I'm going to paint the lady here with green, and I'm specifically telling the computer, keep this part. Do not remove it. And as I paint it, You'll see now it's updating over on the right-hand side. I'm going to keep this arm, so I'm going to go green on the arm, and you'll see the arm now magically appears. So if you want to get rid of something, you'll use the red. So I'm going to paint the grass with red to start. Okay, so I've painted the grass red, and we can see most of the grass now is gone. I can make the brush quite small. Over on the left-hand side here, there's a size option. So I'm going to make it very small, and then right in here, I'm going to paint red, and we'll see now it's disappearing. So you can get very detailed here by painting red where you need to. You can also zoom in on this. I'm just using my mouse wheel, and I'm just going larger or smaller. Okay, so let's go over here to the lady on the left. I'm going to click green. Now I'm going to do something you're not supposed to do. I'm going to make this brush nice and big, and I'm going to click green, which means keep it, but I'm going to paint over the red on the left hand side. And you'll see when I do this, the system's now going to scold me. It says the red and the green should never overlap. So it's like, well, make up your mind, human. Do you want me to keep it or do you want me to lose it? So I'm going to use the eraser tool. I'm going to just simply erase this lady's top here. And now I'm going to click green and I'm going to paint this lady because we want to keep all of this stuff. So nice and green here on the face, green on the shoulders. I'm telling the computer to keep all of this. And you'll see now magically it appears. So as you paint the hair and you want to keep it, it may look a little bit ragged here on the edges. And what you can do is use this border feature right here. So instead of zero, I'm going to type in 20 for border. And you'll notice the border of what is being erased is now much softer. If I have a border of zero, you'll see it's quite stark. If I have a border of 20, you'll see the hair now softens out. So if you're using hair or if you're using fur or if your image has anything that you'd like to have a little bit softer, just make sure the border number is nice and high. Okay, so the hardest part now is going to be right underneath this lady's left ear. We've got some grass, some hair, and some body. So I'm going to really zoom in here. I'm going to use my little hand tool here to move. So you can move the hand on the right side or on the left it's the brush. So I'm going to get this nice and centered here. And now I'm going to use my green brush to keep the skin. And we'll see that updated here on the right hand side. Now I'm going to try to get rid of this grass. I'm going to click the red and I'm going to go really tiny now. I'm going to make the brush quite small and now I'm going to paint just the grass with red. And now I'm going to paint just the hair with green. And we can see now we've got it pretty good where the hair is disappeared there's no grass under, underneath. Now you can always spend more and more time fine tuning it. The more time you spend on an image, the better it will look. Okay, so overall I'm pretty happy with how this looks. When you're done, don't close out on the top right. You might think this little X button here is the complete button. It is not. Do not click that or else you'll lose all your work. What you want to do instead is click the OK button right here. Now you're going to have a choice to make. You can do a new layer, a raster mask, or a selection. I just like to do a new layer and I click OK. And now what will happen is you've got two layers sitting inside of Photopea. I've actually got three because I've got the background which is white. I just removed the background and then I've got my new layer which is my 
removed background, and then I've got my underlying, which is my grass. Now, if you'd like to export this image, I suggest you use a PNG file because that has a transparent background. That was the whole point of this, is to remove the background so you could have a transparent background. So you're gonna go File, Export As, and then you can export as a PNG file. Of course, you could put in another color if you wanted as well in the background. I'm clicking my background, I'm gonna turn it on, and then over on the left, I'm gonna use my Paint Bucket tool, and then I'll simply click the layer, and you can see now I've turned it to black instead of white. There's a little colors button down here. You could change it to red, for example, and now I will fill the paint bucket with red. So you've got all sorts of options. The amount of time and energy you spend on the removal tool will give you more and more high quality results over time. The more you put in, the more you get out. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Photo P. It's a great online option if you don't want to use Photoshop. Here's another video on how you can have some fun in the world of graphic design.